Governor Scott Walker knows firsthand it's not easy to go against the status quo, but says he's not interested in what's easy. It's just critically important as we talk about ways to provide more prosperity and better performance in the state. One of the critical ways to do that is put more power back in the hands of the people. Walker's government union reforms led to protesters staging an occupation of the Capitol and launching a recall election against him. It also turned a $3.5 billion deficit into a budget surplus and lowered property taxes across the state. Two years ago, we put the power back in the hands of the hardworking taxpayers when it came to deciding whether or not the big government special interests, particularly the public employee unions, were going to be in charge or whether the taxpayers were going to be in charge. Now Walker is going after the status quo again. This time, it's entitlement reform. But now the next logical step for us is is to free not just taxpayers up, but, but individuals, uh, citizens in our state, who sadly for too long have become dependent on the government, largely because of the policies of the government. Walker's reforms encourage people who can and should be working to actively search for work or get additional training for today's job market. Many of the people who have a differing view believe that you measure success by how many people are dependent on the government. Uh, I don't believe that. I believe you measure success in government by just the opposite. You measure it by how many people are no longer dependent on the government. Not because we've kicked them out to the streets, not because we've kicked them out to the cold, but rather because we've empowered them uh, to control their own destiny through the dignity of work that comes from a job in the private sector, and that leads to more freedom and more prosperity. Walker's reforms would require people on unemployment insurance to look for work four times a week instead of just twice and able-bodied childless adults would have to either get a job or participate in a job training program to collect food stamps. Plus, if they make more than the poverty level, they no longer qualify for state Medicaid. The left says people are going to die. Well, it is extreme and it just shows you uh, how much they want to protect the status quo, uh, largely because there's, there's certain people and en entities that benefit out of people being uh, stuck on government assistance. Uh, we want to free them. We, we want to empower people to control their own destiny. But Walker says once someone is on government assistance, it's very difficult for them to get off of it. And until they do, it's impossible for them to improve their station in life. And when people came out claiming that somehow this was about not liking poor people or the other complaint we heard was that this is making it harder to get government assistance, I said no. It's making it easier to get a job. Uh, I, I care for the people of my state so much. I love the people of Wisconsin so much. I don't want them to be indebted permanently to the government, to be dependent on a permanent long-term basis. Walker says this is something that needs to take place in states across the country. And he's not afraid to get the ball rolling here in Wisconsin. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.